robotic process automation is the process through which simple to complex tasks can be automated with the help of RPA tools and can be done with minimal or no human intervention. Various industries are using RPA on a day to day basis to automate the simple to complex processes. So, hi all, this is Sahiti from Edureka, and I welcome you to this session on RPA in various domains. In this session, guys, we'll focus on how RPA is used by various companies and in various industries to automate simple to complex tasks. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at the topics for today's session. So, the topics for today's session are as you can see on my screen. We'll start with introduction to RPA and then I'll introduce you to what is UiPath. After that, I'll talk about how RPA is used in various domains using the UiPath tool. And then I'll introduce you to Automation Anywhere. Finally, I'll end this session by talking about the various use cases of RPA by using Automation Anywhere. On that note, let's start with the first topic for today's session that is introduction to RPA. So if I have to define the term RPA for you, then the process of automating business operations with the help of robots to reduce human intervention is nothing but robotic process automation. Now, if you hear the term robotic process automation, there are mainly three terms that you have to understand over here. That is robotic process and automation. So starting with robotic, robotics are those entities which mimic human actions. So all the entities which mimic human actions are called as robots. Now, Every robot has to follow a sequence of steps to mimic human actions, right? So those sequence of steps are nothing but a process. And finally, coming to automation. Automation is any process that is done by a robot without any human intervention. So any process that is done without any human intervention or minimal human intervention is said to be automated. So if we summarize all these three terms together, then mimicking human actions to perform a sequence of steps leading to a meaningful activity without any human intervention is said to be robotic process automation. So I hope the definition was clear to you guys. So now that you know what is RPA, let me tell you that there are various tools present in the market, but the top tools are UiPath and Automation Anywhere. So for your better understanding, what I'll do is I'll discuss what is UiPath first with you. And then I'll tell you how UiPath has helped various industries and companies to automate simple to complex tasks and generate high profits. After that, we'll do the same for automation anywhere. So on that note, let's move forward with the next topic for today's session. That is what is UiPath. UiPath is a robotic process automation tool that is used for Windows desktop automation. It is used to automate simple repetitive to redundant tasks with the help of drag and drop functionalities and eliminates the human intervention. This tool offers various additions to support different types of users and comes with an active community to resolve issues. To Deloitte's 2019 Technology Fast 500, UiPath ranks number one in North America. It is used by small startups to multinational companies and being the market leader, it to make sure that it caters all types of audiences, either it be a fresher or an experienced professional working in the top enterprises by providing various additions. So this was just about UiPath, guys. So if you just have to understand UiPath in layman terms, then UiPath is a robotic process automation tool used to automate tasks, and mainly it is used for Windows desktop automations. It provides various additions, so even if you are a fresher, you can go forward and start by learning UiPath. And if you're an experienced professional, also you can explore UiPath on the enterprise editions, right? So on that note, let's move on with the next topic for today's session. That is RP in various domains using UiPath. Now in this section of the session, I'm going to talk about how RP has been used by various organizations or institutions with UiPath to automate simple to complex processes. The domains or the industries that I'm going to consider for UiPath are as you can see on my screen. We'll first talk about banking and then we'll talk about insurance. After that, we'll talk about healthcare, then transportation, and finally the food industry. So I'm going to consider these five domains to explain you how RPA is used in these domains respectively with UiPath, right? So let's start with the first domain that is RPA in banking. So to explain you how RPA is used in banking, I've considered the example of Federal Bank. So Federal Bank is a leading private sector bank that is headquartered in Kerala, India. Over the last 10 periods, this bank has grown and now operates for more than 1250 branches throughout India, guys. Now the main challenges that the bank was facing was that, you know, the bank wanted to merge the unique customer identification codes to identify the customers. 
So if the bank decided to do this manually, then it would obviously be time consuming, error prone, and it would be tough to scale the bank simultaneously. Also, one more challenge which was observed is that the bank wanted to make sure that its employees were empowered to provide and maintain strong customer relationships and other relationship oriented services. But they also wanted to use the digital transformation in the front to run the businesses and serve its customers and help employees. Now, to overcome these challenges, federal banks started looking for various opportunities and started evaluating the top RPA vendors. After looking at the top RPA vendors, the bank zeroed upon UiPath and then the bank started using the reports provided by UiPath to uniquely identify the customers with their customer IDs. These UiPath robots could process a sample of 10,000 customer records within a day and could merge around 250 records in an hour. Now, isn't that a great number, guys? It is, right? So the results observed are, as you can see on my screen, there was 0% error rate in the reconciliation process. It was observed that the completion of tasks was done in 50% of the time. The bank could automate 15 different processes very quickly, and the company further had the plan to automate around 53 tasks by the end of the year 2020. So that's how, guys, RPA is used in the banking industry. Well, that was about the banking sector, guys. Now let's move on to the next sector that is RPA in insurance. To explain you how RPA is used in insurance, I'm going to consider the company Future Generali Indian Life Insurance. So Future Generali Indian Life Insurance Company Limited has around 117 branches and aims to protect and enhance people's life with a complete range of simplified solutions. It is a joint venture between three groups that is Future Group, the Generali Group and the Industrial Investment Trust Limited. So the top insurance company guys now the challenges which was observed by this company was that the all the processes involved with group insurance were manual and required around an average time of seven days. This was because the application used to run on the a slash 400 platform and all the business processes feed into or take feed from the core systems at various stages of the policy issuance and underwriting life cycle. In short, all the operations increase the cost for the company. So instead the company realized that if they get the operational activities such as uploading member data for various policies was done using RPA, then the process would be more effective and would cost less. So to find a solution to this problem, the team of future generally India life had started to automate the tasks of 50 transactions daily with the help of scripting based automation using Python while scripting based automation was done well in a discrete area of automation. It was however difficult for various other processes and projects while scripting based automation was doing fine for demonstrating a discrete well defined area of automation. The team however realized that it was difficult to sustain for multiple processes and projects. So with an RPA platform like UiPath, they found that the implementation was very easy and intuitive. So they decided to go forward and design a UiPath robot for it. So the designated robot would extract record files from the core system and the same would be then communicated to the client. Implementations of robots has definitely increased the data security as every attachment was password protected. Apart from this, the company also used UiPath to automate bank reconciliation processes and with the help of UiPath, the company was able to do the processes that you can see on my screen. They could upload the unreconciled bank transactions and the daily bank systems from the core system through a robot. The adjustment journal was automatically posted to the core system. The bank reconciliation system now had a predefined format and the adjustments journal is automatically uploaded to a system by a robot. Finally, a flexible set of rules were set for a robot which would automatically reconcile 93% of the transactions which had perfect matches. The remaining 7% would have a combination of partially matched transactions. So I hope that you've understood how RPA was used by Future Generali to automate the reconciliation processes and also to remove the errors and reduce the cost. So they started with the scripting based automation and then they moved towards UiPath. Through UiPath, what they did was that you know they built up robots to automate the task of sending record files to the client, and every email that had an attachment was password protected. So the results of future generally India Life Insurance Company Limited partnering with UiPath are as you can see on my screen. It was observed that 83% of the automation was achieved in the bank reconciliation processes and the time required to identify the employees who needed to complete underwriting was reduced from one day to 15 minutes with automation guys. That's a huge amount of time reduction 
and on an overall basis around 33 processes were automated. So that's how guys RPA is used in the insurance industry, right? So I hope that you've understood how future generally used. Now let's move forward with the other domain that is RPA in healthcare. So to explain you how RPA is used in healthcare, I've considered the institution Max Healthcare. So Max Healthcare is one of the India's top healthcare service providers and has around a network of 14 hospitals with more than 2300 doctors. They've also treated more than 2.8 million patients from 130 nationalities. Now, one of the major challenges faced by Max Healthcare was to process large volumes of patient transactions while simultaneously ensuring the security and the accuracy of documents. So, if I have to elaborate the challenges faced while processing the transactions of patient documents, then you can refer to the points that you can see on my screen. Starting with the first challenge, the unstructured data had to be streamlined, and it was very difficult to manage the sudden spikes and downfalls in the volumes and frequencies of data. After that, the data entry and the reconciliation process was very time consuming and was error prone, and maintaining accuracy was tough as there were formatting issues, unclear fields, and missing data. Finally, the claim settlement processes also faced issues such as retrieval of information, tracking, and security of documents. So, to avoid these challenges, Max Healthcare decided to go for UiPath's enterprise platform as it was very easy to use and helped them reduce the turnaround time in the current processes. Since the company wanted to start only with few tasks, they picked up the tasks such as the reconciliation of data for CGHS, the processing of claims, and the reconciliation of data for ECHS. So, a UiPath robot was developed to extract the customer related information from PDF files and Outlook messages. After the data is collected, it is populated in a CSV format to integrate with the client's database. For the CGHS and the ECHS schemes, a new data entry solution was created where a robot would log into the ECHS portal through URLs of different hospitals and third party administrators. And similar would be done for the other 12 different associated hospitals for CGHS. Now, once the URLs are accessed, the designated robots will be able to read the patient transaction records and validate the status of the entries. On every successful validation of data, the concert department would be notified through an email. So that's how guys Max Healthcare used UiPath. So basically they designed a robot to extract the customer related information. And then once the data was collected, it was put in a CSV format to integrate with the client's database. And automatically what happened was that a robot was created which would log into the portal through different URLs of different hospitals and would be able to read the patient transaction records and validate the status of entries. So the results of Max Healthcare using UiPath was that, that around one crore of pending payments were recovered. Around 65 to 75 percent of the time was saved in CGHS and ECHS processing, and almost 50 percent of turnaround time was reduced for claim processing. So that's how guys RPA is used in the healthcare industry. Now let's move on to the next industry that is RPA in transportation. So to explain you how RPA is used in the transportation industry, I've considered DHL. DHL Global Forwarding Freight is a leading provider of the ocean, overland, and air freight forwarding services. This company has a global service center unit with five centers, and the human employee strength is more than around 4,500 employees. This company provides broker transport services between the freight carriers and the customers to ensure the efficient support and routing services. Now, the company's main challenge was to improve its finance and logistic processes across all its five centers. So, they aim to create a global process automation hub to remove the internal process bottlenecks to provide the best services. The solution to this challenge was to come up with a human delivery center structure complemented by a virtual delivery center. So to enable the virtual delivery center, the company chose UiPath enterprise platform as UiPath ensured the shared services model operating at peak performance. DGFF started with the pilot project known as the post where a UiPath robot would extract data from the division system and combine it with critical flight data. After that, the robot would automatically generate a report. Now, before the company came up with this solution, the company had to put around 30 people to complete the same process. But now, after UiPath has helped them automate, 15 of the employees are moved to more rewarding and higher value works, and the rest are managing the activity based exceptions to lead better customer services. After the pilot project was successful, the 
The team started a center of excellence to define the standards for RPA based automation, such as the configuration and services for DGFF. If we talk by the numbers, then UiPath has helped DGFF to achieve around 50% of reduction in the total resources required to complete the process and enable human employees to do much more rewarding work. Around 300 robots are providing work equivalent to 300 full time employees who are presently working with better initiatives and the company has deployed more than 80 robots in less than a year. This initiative picked up by DGFF has helped it achieve around complete ROI in one month. So that's how guys RPA is used in the transportation industry. Now let's move on with the final domain in the UI path section that is RPA in port industry. Now I'm sure all of you might have heard of paradise, right? It's known for this iconic Hyderabadi Dam Biryani being one of the most admired restaurants chains in India. It started as a small cafe in 1953 and now has expanded to more than 45 outlets across eight cities in India. Around two years back, Paradise partnered with various food online service providers to ensure home delivery and this step has increased the delivery channel to grow from 5% to 30%. Now the main challenge which Paradise was struggling with was the delays and errors in manual revenue and reconciliation processes. Paradise works with Swiggy, Food Panda, Zomato and Uber Eats and has around 6000 transactions per day. So it was tough for them to manually reconcile the revenue on a daily basis and the company took five days to complete the reconciliation process of a single day. This in turn had definitely generated a huge backlog of pending reconciliations with high chances of errors. The solution to this problem was to automate the task to increase the speed of processes and also simultaneously increase the accuracy. Paradise then reached out to Iro Digital Labs, which is an IT company specializing in the field of AI and RPA to standardize the reconciliation processes. Iro and Paradise soon zeroed upon the UiPath's enterprise RPA platform as it was very easy to use and could be easily used to scale. So the team decided to deploy just two UiPath robots and by deploying these two UiPath robots, the team was able to automate the reconciliation processes by bringing down the reconciliation time from five days to four hours guys. So the automation was designed as you can see on my screen. The UiPath robot will initially extract data from various sources such as the ERP system, dashboards on aggregator platforms, third party tool where all the orders of aggregators would be present and the emails of debit and credit card details. After that, the collected data would be consolidated and stored in a single file after which the reconciliation process will be done. Finally, the robots will also map each transaction against the information given and perform several checks to recognize any exceptions. So that's how guys the automation was developed. So the results observed were as you can see on my screen. The reconciliation time was reduced from five days to four hours and 100% accuracy was achieved. Also, the human employees were now used for more crucial tasks. So that's how guys RPA was used by paradise to generate high profits. So with that we come to an end to this particular section of this session. Now moving on in the session, we will look into what is automation anywhere and then I'll talk about how RPA is used in various domains by using automation anywhere. So on that note, let's look into what is automation anywhere. So automation anywhere is also an RPA tool whose motive is to provide its users with scalable secure and resilient services. This tool offers a community free edition and also the various versions of the enterprise editions and also offers better performance as it has the ability to integrate to different platforms and also scale simultaneously. This tool is meant to be used in enterprise level and is mainly designed for solving complex issues. So guys, if you have to understand automation anywhere in simple terms, then automation anywhere is again an RPA tool which can be used to automate redundant tasks and it also provides cognitive automation as it can automate unstructured and semi structured data. This tool also provides workforce analytics to generate real time actionable business insights. So if you're someone who is looking forward to build your career in RPA by using automation anywhere, then we at Edureka offer online training certification program also on automation anywhere and we are also one of the official training partners with automation anywhere. So if you want to go and learn in depth about automation anywhere on the enterprise version, then you can go and check out a link in the description box below. Once you finish your course, you will be certified as an RPA developer in automation anywhere. So since now you know what is automation anywhere, let me take you through the various domains that I'm going to discuss in this section. So the various domains that I'm going to discuss 
in which RPA is used to automate simple to complex tasks and the tool uses automation anyway is financial services, retail, telecommunications, business process outsourcing and education. So starting with the first one that is RPA in financial services, I've considered one of the best examples that is Ernst & Young. So Ernst & Young or more commonly known as EY is one of the largest professional services firm headquartered in London. It provides assurance, tax and transaction services and advisories to solve clients challenges. Now one of the main challenges observed by EY was that a US bank was spending a lot of manual effort on various repetitive error prone and rules based processes such as data entry verification of data and documentation. So the bank collaborated with EY to automate the task by implementing RP and the main task was to improve the quality of the data increase productivity and reduce regulatory risk within the banking operations. To overcome these challenges, the team decided to consider a few factors while choosing the RPA platform. Well, the factors was that, that the RPA tool which must be chosen should be the tool which has been pre-used in the banking and the finance industry before. It has license flexibility. It has an enterprise-grade solution which has the ability to operate with the existing application scope and ID infrastructure and also provides professional training with rapid deployment. So based on these factors, EY started researching about the top RPA vendors and then zeroed upon Automation Anywhere. So for them, Automation Anywhere was the RPA tool which satisfied all the requirements and then the team decided to use this RPA tool to solve the issues of the flood certification orders, mortgage, QA, QC and address verification. So let's discuss one by one how these problems were solved. So starting with the flood certification orders, since there were high volumes of flood certification orders on a daily basis, the team had to spend a huge amount of time ordering each and every flood certificate. This was because there were mainly dependency issues as the team had to wait for the vendor to return the order and then enter the data into a system from a PDF. With Automation Anywhere, the bots order the flood certificate and automatically gather the data returned from the PDF file. Then these bots input the data into the system records, which has helped the team meet the requirements of flood zone loads rather than wasting the time in ordering the certificates. So that's how guys flood certification orders problem was solved. Now let's talk about mortgage QA QC. So the quality control assurance teams spend their maximum time of the day gathering the necessary loan documents and comparing it with various data points across multiple sources. With Automation Anywhere, the bots deployed gave high gains as they could gather the necessary loan documents and give the data to the QAQC reviewer. So this has helped the team avoid errors and repetitive processes of finding the correct data. Now the team can further focus on identifying and resolving the exceptions. Finally, coming to address verification, for every loan taken up by the customer, the bank has to check each address in the system of records against the United States Postal Services, that is USPS website, to confirm the official records. Now, to perform this task, an employee had to do the steps like navigate to the address lookup tool and then compare the address and then finally attach the screenshot to the loan file. With automation anywhere, the bots can compare the addresses without any manual intervention and the address which is incorrect or does not have any match in the system would be automatically flagged and would be further handled by an exception processing system. So the results of EY using automation anywhere to overcome the challenges are as you can see on my screen. More than $1 million were annually saved and zero errors from processes with regulatory components. It was also observed that the efficiency was increased from two to three times and the customer experience was now better. So that's how guys RPA is used in the financial services industry. Now let's move forward with the next domain that is RPA in retail. So to explain you how RPA is used in retail, I'm considering the RBS or most commonly known as the retail business services company, which is a branch of a whole Delhazi USA, which provides services to food line, stop and shop, giant food, giant and Martins, Peapod and Hannaford. Now the challenge observed by RBS was that that you know it was deploying automation for more than 15 years now but it ran into problems when they tried to automate the processes which involved interacting with the vendor's application or website. So this resulted in denying requests at a higher frequency and unreasonable cost. So to overcome the challenges the company decided to use automation anywhere. So by using automation anywhere the company decided to save thousands of hours in various departments such as finance. 
So let me tell you that in the finance department, the company automated the task of payable accounts, retrieval accounts, and inventory processes. Not only this, but now the company's processes do not require changes from its application vendors and is less prone to errors and requires less time and is much more less complex. So the results achieved are what you can see on my screen. More than 69,000 full time employee hours were saved. Around 75% of the finance eligible processes are automated and more than 65 bots are deployed in the production. So that's how guys RPA is used in the retail industry. Now let's move on with the next industry that is RPA in telecommunications. So to explain you how RPA is used in telecommunications, I've considered the organization Sprint Corporation. So Sprint Corporation is one of the top telecommunications company based in Overland Park, Kansas and is the fourth largest mobile network operator in United States and offers a wide variety of wireline and wireless services. It has around 53.9 million customers and has an annual revenue of 33.6 billion dollars. Now the challenges faced by Sprint Corporation was that that you know it wanted to automate its financial tasks by including the tax department related activities. So apart from this, the team also wanted to automate tasks in other sectors such as sales, network, HR, IT, enterprises, customer care, and procurement. To overcome these challenges, the Sprint Corporation chose Automation Anywhere to automate its tasks. It was chosen as it is user-friendly, provides advanced functionalities with unattended bots, and can be used in various industries. The program to automate tasks initially started with 50 use cases to reduce the manual intervention in a specific time. The company soon achieved this goal in six months and was able to develop the valuable automations. So that's how guys the Sprint Corporation used Automation Anywhere to automate their tasks. So the results of Sprint Corporation using Automation Anywhere are as you can see on my screen. More than 20,000 hours are saved and more than 50 automations were developed. And now in present day, more than 50 automations are already in the pipeline. So guys, that was about how RPA can be used in the telecommunications industry. Now let's move on with our next domain that is RPA in BPO or business process outsourcing. So to explain you how RPA can be used in BPO or business process outsourcing, I've considered the Maximus organization. So Maximus is a worldwide leading provider of government services and it designs, develops and delivers health and human services programs. This company has offices situated in six countries with their employees answering more than 7 million calls at contact centers every month. Now Maximus being one of the large organizations wanted to adopt the top emerging technologies and one such technology was to use RPA. So the team took up the initiative to create a playbook for assessing hundreds of Maximus operations across the globe. So the solution to Maximus challenge of using a new technology or the latest technology such as RPA was Automation Anywhere platform. So Maximus decided to use Automation Anywhere platform to implement a highly available delivery network of processes, people and tools to manage all the automation opportunities. The different processes which were automated were the management of workforce by triggering messages through RPA, the data entry tasks, the intake of customers, the management of documents, the customers facing and back office processing such as health plan enrollment, processing of premiums and eligibility determination and provisioning and deprovisioning of employees which was executed by the bots. So the result of Maximus using Automation Anywhere was that at more than $2.5 million were saved annually and 39 bots were deployed in production and more than 10 are expected to be deployed in production by next year. So that was about RPA and BPO guys. Now let's move on to our final domain that is RPA in education. Now I'm sure everybody must have heard about the University of Melbourne. So the University of Melbourne is located in the heart of Melbourne and has close to 50,000 students studying in various streams such as law, business, economics, arts, media and engineering. This university has partnered with leading research centers and is one of the Australia's oldest and most reputed institutions. Now being one of the top institutions, the University of Melbourne's admission council team had to manually enter the data of all the students. Now this was quite a labor intensive process as it involved downloading individual attachments and consolidating of students results. Due to such intensive process, it resulted in delays and duplication of data and eventually became tough to handle large volumes of student applications. 
So to overcome these challenges, the University of Melbourne decided to deploy bots to automate the processes of downloading individual attachments and consolidating with student results. They decided to choose automation anywhere to reduce manual intervention and automate processes across various departments such as faculty admissions, students admissions and supplier tracking. All the bots deployed across all the departments would automate the data entry tasks and the attachments for new admission applications. Now the results of University of Melbourne using automation anywhere are as you can see on my screen. It was observed that the efficiency increased for the critical business processes and the staff engagement was boosted. Around 10,000 hours of manual force was reduced and this definitely improved the customer experience and around 97% of throughput was observed in processing supplier details and 22 processes were automated. So guys, that's how you can use RPA in education also. So with this guys, we come to an end to this particular session today. I hope you found the session informative. Thank you and have a great day.